Babies. Okay, I think we're live on Facebook. Let's see how this works. Let's see. Okay, I think I've got the camera hooked up to like a little um, a tripod arm. Let's see if this works, babies. Um, what do you think? What do you think, babies? Let's see. Oh, did you just, oh, wait, 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 puppy. Oh, I had a puppy turn the camera. <laughs> oh, boy. Hang on. I had a puppy just come up and turn the, tilt the camera. Wait, let's see here. Um, how's that? Um, what did you guys do? Somebody ran up to the camera. Oh, my gosh. We have some silly puppies here. We're going to do a DNA test. Um, here we, let's see. Hi, babies. I'm trying to see. can't quite tell because I've got the camera on. Um, I can't quite tell. Hopefully someone will comment. Is, can anyone, can people see this? Hopefully people can see this. Okay, so we're going to do a little Embark DNA test. Thank you for the donated DNA test from Christina who adopted a uh, Cocker Spaniel named Teddy from us uh, last year, I think. Um, this is Graham. Uh, these are Cookie's puppies. They're 32 days old. Um, this is Graham. And this right here is Butterscotch. Here, Butterscotch, say hi. Say hi. Hi. I'm, my name's Butterscotch. I got a terrier face. Yes, and my tail wags all the time. And who else do we have back here? Let's see. Puppies come. We've got, this is, um, this is Walnut. Walnut, say hello. See, hi. 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 Can you smell my puppy breath? Hi. Can you smell my puppy breath? Let me see here. Oh, yeah, there's the comments. People are commenting. Thank you. This is Walnut. Uh, who else do we have back here? Um, let me put my hands behind me and see who's... Oh, here. Okay, this right here is Peanut. Peanut looks a lot like butterscotch, and how you can tell them apart is Peanut has... See the top of his head? There's a little white heart shape on the top of his head here. I'm going to put Peanut and butterscotch side by side so you guys can tell. And also, here, butterscotch. Oh, wait, we're waiting. We got a code yellow happening off camera. We're waiting for Butterscotch to finish. Okay, you finished Butterscotch? Can't tell. Are you sitting or are you peeping? Uh, oh, no. No, he wasn't peeing. He was just sitting. Okay. Okay, so. I don't know if you can tell from their faces. So, the puppy, this puppy is Butterscotch. And you can see the top of his head is all white. And this puppy is Peanut. And you can see the top of his head has like a little white heart shape. So that's how you can tell them apart. Also, when you look at them side by side, um, Butterscotch, this is Butterscotch, has a little more gray around his nose area. Well, yeah, just a little more. Actually, his face, his nose is starting to get a little longer, more like Cookie's face. So these two have their mama's um, terrier for genetics. Um, let me see who else we got. Oh, we got Chip back here. Let me grab Chip. Chip is puppy number five. They're all males. Five of them. Oh, wait. Don't hang up on the Facebook. Oh, we got a puppy. Look. <laughs> a puppy walked up and licked the screen. I hope he doesn't turn off the Facebook stream. <laughs> he came up and was licking the screen. That was butterscotch. Okay, so this is Chip. Chip, um, <clears throat> how you can Chip and Walnut look very much alike. I'll show them together. So, this is Chip. This is Walnut. And so, see them face by face. It's um, They look very similar, um, except Chip on the back of his head has a little, like a spot of of tan and walnut on the back of it has a bigger patch of tan so that's how i tell them apart and then graham is easy he's graham's easy he's the only one that's all brown on the back or all tan tan buff if it um tan oh hi <laughs> hi everybody
everybody. So let's see. Um, let's see if there's any comments. Is this cheering you up, folks? Hopefully, oh, oh, a puppy's walking under my camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope the camera doesn't get turned off. There's a puppy behind it licking it. Um, here, that's butterscotch back there. Um, so let's see, who should we do? Um, let's see. Oh, are there any questions? Oh, it's hard to see because the camera is so low from where I'm. Oh, let me see if I can see questions. Hi, everybody. What do you think? This is a good angle to see puppies, though, isn't it? Even though I can't see the comments. Um, you know what? I, I can't see the comments from where I'm sitting. But, um, but it's a better puppy angle, right? You guys can see puppies? Let me see if I can get out of the way so you can see more puppies. Um, so this is Graham. And Walnut. And Chip. And, oh, Butterscotch is bumping the camera. Oh, he's licking the camera. If the Facebook live stream gets turned off, it's you can blame it on Butterscotch. He keeps walking. This is Butterscotch. He keeps walking up and licking the camera. <laughs> um, and this is Peanut. There, five puppies. Let's see. Um, I know they're looking. It's so interesting. They're they're oh 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 no! You didn't turn off the face. I thought they turned off the Facebook. Uh, um, these guys are getting to that age where they're super curious about everything. Um, and they're, they're make, trying to make eye contact now. Um, they're really curious. They're playing with each other. They're starting to wrestle with each other. Um, they are eating. I've got, uh, let me see if I can, well, I don't want to mess up the camera. It's hanging like on this tripod arm, but they're eating both puppy canned food that's, um, mushed up with, with warm water and they're eating um, puppy kibble that's soaked in um, water overnight, and then I mush it up so it's like, it's really soft. And then they have a bowl of water as well. Um, Cookie uh, has been coming in here to check on them, like when I when I pull the food and she can come in, but she then they all try and nurse on her and she runs. In fact, uh, about an hour ago she was in here and they were all, all five of them were like, mommy, mommy. They were coming at her like little sharks and she jumped to get out of the puppy pen and they were crying for her. So I think, uh, poor, poor cookie. She's just stressed. Oh, where is this? What is, we got a puppy. We got an upside down puppy here. Look at this upside down baby. Um, so we're gonna do a DNA test. I'm gonna pick one of the puppies and um, Christina donated two kits. We're gonna do one puppy and um, oh, you know what? It says here I have to activate my kit online. Okay, I will do this later on. Um, I thought I was gonna do it right now, but I can do it later on. I have to activate the kit online and there's instructions to follow. So I will do that later. And Cookie, you're gonna get your um, DNA test too. We're gonna send that out. It sounds very exciting. Um, so anyway, and then Cookie has some people who applied to adopt her and they're gonna meet her on Saturday. So cross your, cross your paws, everybody. Oh my God, Cookie is, here I got, I don't know if I can turn this around. Cookie right now is entertaining her. So let me let me see if I can turn the camera around. Uh, take this off the tripod. Whoa, oh, sorry, sorry, everybody. Let me see if I can turn the camera around. Um, okay, Cookie has been um, playing with toys, acting like a baby puppy. Cookie, you are a baby puppy, aren't you? Cookie's a baby herself. She didn't want to. She didn't want to have babies. Hey, that's where I had the camera hanging, and you were chewing it, honey. Here, we can lift this up now. Okay, so um, there's Cookie. Okay, now I can see the comments. Let me scroll down and see if there's any questions here. Um, and uh, let's see here. 
Um, there's Butterscotch eating. Um, Graham, oh, here, wait, let me look at the cut. Sally Walk says Graham has a white heart on his head. He does, he does. Here, wait, let me see. Hey, Graham. <laughs> yeah, look at that. He's got a little white heart on his head. Hi. Hi, Bibbis. Hi, Graham. You're very cute and tiny. Okay, let me see if there's any other comments. Hi, Walnut. Let's see. They are 32 days old today. Um, their mama is a terrier mixing cookie that was rescued. Um, she was, uh, animal control found her under a dumpster with her babies. Uh, and then they took her to the shelter and then they sent out an email to all the rescue groups and then that's how Camp Cocker got them. So, um, Cookie has been a really good mama, but she is really, really stretched beyond her limits in terms of what she can handle. Like, when she comes in here to be with them, they all try to nurse and she runs out right away. I think she's... She's just overwhelmed, and Cookie deserves her little vacation now. She deserves... Oh, Sally Walk, how much do they weigh now? They're all um, between, like, 2.6 pounds and 2.9 pounds. Um, so they're definitely too big for her to be nursing them anymore. Plus, three, uh, 32 days of age, they can easily be eating puppy food. Um, let me see what other questions we have. Oh, we got a puppy pile happening over here. Puppy pile. Um, so this is what they do. They run around and they have a lot of energy and then they crash. So now they're just about to crash. Um, so that little puppy sitting there, that's Butterscotch. Hi, Butterscotch. Hi. Hi. I can tell his face is getting longer and more square, almost like Cookie's face is. Um... Let's see. Oh, Suzanne Gratton, which puppy are you going to DNA test? I was thinking since there's two puppies that are the white ones and they have terrier fur, and then the other three puppies have a different type of fur that's softer, I was going to do one of the three. So, um, and uh, because I think, I'm pretty sure it's going to tell you, I'm pretty sure those three have the same baby daddy. And if all five of them have the same baby daddy, that wouldn't be surprising. But if anyone else donates, if we, if someone happens to send us a third DNA kit, then I'll test one of the white ones just to cover all the bases. Um, oh, April Taylor, code brown yet? Yeah, there, there's some code browns happening now that they're eating, now that they're eating food. Let's see. Oh, hi, Sharon Lynn from Florida, and it's not even midnight yet. Oh. I'm so glad there's so many people that watch this from all over the world. There's a lady that commented that she watches from France. I just love that this these cheer people up. Anyway, um, so let's see. Well, now there's not any action anymore. Everyone's, everyone's snoozing. Well, I guess that's it, huh? Uh, I guess that's it for uh, tonight's live stream. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these babies are so funny. They're so, they're getting so big. So I did a, um, I took their weight. There's a couple of websites online where you can put in the days, days of age, how many days old they are and their weights. And it gives, um, it gives an estimate of what they're going to be as an adult. And right now, based on their current weights, the estimates, hi, Cookie. Those are the dirty wee-wee pads I just cleaned up. Um, the, the, based on their current weights, the guess is they're going to be 30 to 35 pound dogs as adults. Um, was interesting is like when they were under two weeks of age, those same websites were guessing them to be 35 to 40 pound dogs. So it's, it seems to be changing as they are getting older. I wonder what those websites are going to say like in a month. Um, so anyway, it's just interesting, but I think it's probably fair to say they're going to all be at least medium-sized dogs. 
as adults. Um, even though Cookie is only 11 pounds, pretty sure their baby daddy was a bigger breed. Hi, Cookie. Hi, Cookie. Do you want to get adopted? So, um, Cookie's going to meet some potential adopters on Saturday. And if they like her, we're going to do a, a foster to adopt so that she can um, get a break and get out of here and just start decompressing because Cookie must be so... I can't even imagine how exhausted she is. Um, and then once her milk dries up in about four weeks, we'll get her spayed and then she can be officially adopted. But, um, the people, we're going to go over there and bring Cookie to their house. And if they like her, I think they might do a foster to adopt, which would be so great. And then once that happens, um, we can start getting the puppies out every day for, to start their socialization because we should have started it probably probably by now by 30 days of age we should be socializing them and they're 32 days of age now i mean they've been socialized like they've been getting handled um and also like an important thing is handling the uh the paws the pads of the paws touching each toe this is like a neurological stimulation that helps stimulate their brains see how you handle you gently handle each puppy toe and the pad and I've been doing that to all these puppies ever since they arrived every single day um, these puppies are definitely not going to have any issues with their paws and toes being handled when they grow up because of this early um, neuro stimulation look we're so yes, stimulation there is some scientific study if you google it about um, Handling puppies' toes and paws in the first, I think it's in the first 10 days of life. Like in the first 10 days from birth. That's a super important thing. So I got on that immediately as soon as they got here. Because they were already three days of age when they got here. Um, anyway, so so hoping Cookie's people works out. Look, look at Cookie. She's like, hi there. I'm done. You take care of those puppies because I'm, I'm exhausted. She's like, you rescue folks need to take over now. She's like, you rescue folks need to take over. This is too much for me. <laughs> oh, my God. So they've been, like, playing with toys a little bit, but they don't really have the concept yet. So I'm hoping soon they're going to start playing with all their toys and chewing and then um once cookie leaves if she leaves on saturday we're going to probably take them out right away on saturday in the stroller and get out and start um start socializing them they need to they need to get out in the world see cars hear cars oh yeah that's right um they need that it'll be good for nail nail trims grooming all that stuff. Also, these full body, the full body handling I've been doing um, really is going to help them to trust humans. Um, so everything, the head, the butt, the tail, the, the belly. Look how they, this is a sign that they trust humans when they let you roll them on their back and touch them everywhere. Um, and it's actually kind of relaxing. Look at this little dude. It's kind of relaxing. It's like getting a little massage. Um, these puppies are going to be so well socialized. These are going to be great adult dogs one day. Um, and we've got to start socializing them in public with all sorts of sounds. Go to like a children's playground so they can hear little kids making lots of children's sounds. You know how little kids are loud. We want to socialize these puppies to everything so they're not afraid of any loud sounds or anything. Um, there's a skateboard park we like to go to and just stand there um, where the skateboarders are and hold the puppies up so they can watch the skateboarders and they can hear them. And they're not scared because it's, it's, um, they feel safe at this age. Um, what? Did you just make a little purr? What was that little sound? Did 
Did you make a little purr? Huh, babies? Oh my God. Yeah, I I can't wait to hear that DNA test results too. Um, let me see. Um, oh my God, someone said, I'm donating a third DNA kit. I picked peanut to test. Okay. Whoever put, let me see who wrote this. You know what, if you're, if someone's sending us a DNA kit, will you just, um, let's see. Lori replied to Lori. Oh, wait, Lori Yamamoto. Um, anyway, whoever sends that third kit, we will, I'll test peanut. So that that'll cover all the bases. That'll cover the two white puppies that are terrier looking. And then I'm going to test one of the fluffy puppies. And I'm going to test Cookie. Yeah, the last time I did an Embark DNA test kit, it was it took like three to four weeks to get results. and But that was like a year ago. So maybe they've gotten faster by then. I don't know. Um, hopefully it's faster. But, um, oh, Valerie Gonzalez, when do they get their teeth in? Their teeth are coming in. Their teeth are coming in. I can actually feel them under the gum line. Um, let's see, the baby puppy. I don't know if you can see. See, look at that. The teethies are just busting through the gum lines. No wonder Cookie doesn't want them nursing. That's gotta hurt, right? Look at the baby teeth is. They're coming through the gum lines. Oh yeah, they're through the, this puppy's canines are through the gum lines already. Ooh, that's gotta hurt Cookie. That's gotta really hurt her. No wonder she runs from them. I don't blame her, but they're old enough to be eating on their own and they are eating on their own. Oh my God. So anyway, anyone who's interested in adoption, we are taking adoption applications at campcocker.com and, um, but these are not Cocker Spaniel puppies. I just got to make sure everybody knows that. Also, there's they're all male. There's five male puppies. Um, and they're all, their pictures are on our website. Um, we did receive two adoption applications on puppies this week. And both of the applications um, were applying for a female puppy. So I don't know if they didn't realize that these are all male puppies. Oh my God, look how this little dude is sleeping right now. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at this little dude. This cracks me up. So anyways, um, we're taking adoption applications now. I mean, obviously they're not ready for adoption. They're not gonna be ready for a while, but it would be really nice if we could get five um, puppy appropriate adopters lined up. Um, that would, that would be perfect so that when they are ready for adoption, we know where each one's going and we can figure out, um, where they're going to be neutered. Um, the, all, all puppy adopters have to sign a neuter agreement. Um, and it's not negotiable. Each puppy needs to be neutered at five months of age. So the adoption agreement will be void if the, if the adopters do not complete the neuter at five months of age. So, um, and, um, but it would be great to know where all the adopters, where these puppies are going to get adopted to so we could get neuter appointments on the books. Because sometimes it's like a, well, at least in Los Angeles, the wait time to get on the spay neuter schedule can be eight weeks. So, oh my God, this little dude, I think this one is Chip. No, no, this one's Walnut. This one is Walnut right here. Look at how he's sleeping. Is he doing a little yoga pose? Is he doing a little, is that a little Pilates? Whoops. <laughs> Walnut, are you doing, are you doing your little abdominal stretches? A little twist? Oh my God. Someone should take a screenshot of this right now. Look how beautiful he is. Oh my God. This is Walnut. He is beautiful. They're all really beautiful. So, all right, folks. Well, there's your puppy live stream for the night. Sorry that uh, there's not there's not much action happening here. 
Okay, this puppy is Peanut. Oh no, no, I'm no, no, I was wrong. This is this puppy right here is Butterscotch. This puppy, this white puppy is Butterscotch with the little terrier face. This other white puppy right here with the terrier fur and the white heart on his head, that's Peanut. This fluffy puppy puppy right here um, is uh, Chip. And this little uh, tan puppy right here is Graham. And over here is Walnut. Walnut just sort of fell asleep where he was. <laughs> oh my God. This little dude cracks me up. Oh my God, he cracks me up so much. Oh my God. Oh my God, all these puppies like to be on their back sometimes too. So, all right, I'm going to turn off the live stream. Let me, um, there's their food. Uh, Cookie, you want to come say goodnight? Should we come say goodnight to the fans? You want to say goodnight to everybody? Here, honey. Here, come on up here. Oh, oh, oops. There you go, sweet girl. Who's a good girl? Cookie met her potential adopters tonight. Um, on, on video, and she's gonna meet them in person on Saturday. Let's hope you like they like you. What do you think, Cookie? They think she's a Morky, a Maltese Yorkie. They said she looks like her, her their last doggy. Cookie, we're gonna do your DNA test to find out what you is. Could you? I see the Yorkie though, cause look at the ear coloring. The fur coloring. Um, whoop, there she goes. Okay. All right. Well, that's the end of our live stream. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm glad you uh, enjoy this every night. Um, there's all the babies. <laughs> all right have a good night everybody oh and if you want to send them a baby gift we have their wish list it's posted at iheartcockerspaniels.com um if you want to send them some baby food puppy food or wee wee pads oh my god we're going through wee wee pads like nobody's business um and puppy food toys blankets all sorts all sorts of things around their baby Wish list if you want to send them a baby gift. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.